Okay, we have a 2004 Toyota Sienna, and my wife um, called me while I was out of town and told me the car was doing something funny. And what it is doing is states that the car is in neutral, but even though the shifter doesn't matter where you put it, stays in neutral. Shifter feels real loose, so did some real brief uh, uh, troubleshooting online, and I'm pretty sure that the culprit is a cable that connects uh, the shifter to the transmission, and kind of like a bicycle cable. Uh, so I'm going to take these panels off, and so the first thing I've done is uh, taken that plastic fastener off, taken the uh, screw or bolt 10 millimeter socket out and I'm going to take this panel off and update you as I proceed. Second step, taking this panel off, this panel right here, you have a nut, same 10 millimeter socket and then I just popped it, popped it straight out, just popped it straight up so that I can access this bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. Looks like I'm going to have to drop this panel down. With the uh, second bolt taken out over there, it looks as if, if I can just pull this panel and it just easily pops right off. And I'll just let it dangle so that I can get that, that one off too. All right, so I took this panel, this panel off. It also had one of those plastic securing mechanisms. I pulled it off. This panel still wasn't coming off and I just realized that there's another, there's another bolt that I need to take off. All right, took that off down there, popped this down, took that panel off, realized there was something on the other side holding it, so I took the uh, box off, that panel down there, looking all over the place for it, and when I pop these two corner pieces off, we see that there's one more screw. We're going to take that off. 10 millimeter socket. Okay, we took it off and now this console is popping up. But for before that, we took the knob off because we knew we were going to pull it out. Just unscrew it counterclockwise. Unscrew it right off. Hold this, go ahead. Pop this up. Hold the camera. Something else is holding it on, so we took the pop. We didn't have to unscrew anything to pop that out. We just moved in this and then pulled on that and pulled it right out. And it exposed our final screw or bolt or whatever you want to call it. Use a 10 millimeter socket to take it off. Just when you thought the coast was clear, we find another one right there. And I have to say, this is an awful lot of trouble just to get to the cable, but hopefully it will be rewarding. All right, so we got it. We're not pulling it all the way off because, you know, I still have my cable tied here. But what I did is I, I pulled it far enough apart so that I could pull the side to get a good view. And you can see the cable has come off of the stud or whatever you want to call that for the shifter. So that when I try to shift, the shifter shifts, the cable doesn't move. So 
So let me get this fixed. See what I can do to get this fixed and I'll update you. So what were I doing? Okay. Um, just went to the auto parts store, bought a universal pedal and shift linkage bushing kit. This top one in here looked like it might do the trick or even the one right below it. If not, one of these little boogers will work. I'm pretty sure I can get them to work. Um, this kit seems to be for Dodge Ford GM. However, it's the only kit that they had at the auto store that was closest to me. And the OEM bushing or grommet uh, was not available because they just didn't sell it. So uh, let me give this a shot and uh, I'll let you know. Keep you updated. All right, don't fall into the trap that I did. It's a big fat no. N-O. No worky. First off, these are hard polymer or hard vinyl plastic, pretty much crap. Um, and plus the diameters weren't just quite right. I'd find the inner diameter of one that would fit right. It appeared as if it would uh, latch onto it, but then the outer diameter wouldn't fit the cable. Uh, eyelet. So we, what I'm going to do is order a kit that works that is proven to work from online from Amazon or something like that and I'll update you on which kit that is okay so I purchased this shift repair kit on Amazon um, don't have the uh, part number for it right now but it appears as if we have the uh, bushing some lubricant and a tool to insert the bushing on into the uh, uh, eyelet linkage of the uh, cable Went to the uh, Toyota dealer and AutoZone and neither uh, had a grommet or a bushing for the cable kit. In fact, the Toyota dealer stated that they don't service it and that you had to buy the whole cable, which was close to $300. That didn't make sense to me. So I went ahead on Amazon and purchased this kit. Okay. I'll put some of this lubricant on that piece right there. I just pushed it on in there like that. So that pushed all the way through. I'm gonna lubricate that shaft first. on there pretty good. Just pushed it on the rest of the way. Pull on it. That thing is not coming off there. So that's a good thing. Alright, time to put this mess back together same way it came off. Finish this job once and for all.